to Movie Guy Will Meyer joining us now. And we start with a really fun movie. This is one that has been out in previews for a long time. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a great concept. People want to know what their pets do while they're at home wh yeah. or while they're not home. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that's the premise it jumps off from. It's a movie <laughs> about a terrier named Max who regularly invites his friends over to hang out at this mm -hmm. place while his owner is gone. Uh, but his quiet life is upended when that owner brings home uh, another dog named Duke, a <laughs> mutt who Max instantly dislikes. Yes, this is a, uh, you know, what what do your pets do while you're not at home? Um, you know, this is uh, a movie from Illumination an uh, Animation, the same people that brought us uh, Despicable Me and Minions. I think they make entertaining movies, even though mm -hmm. it doesn't reach the heights of of, uh, you know some of Pixar's movies yep. case in point this movie it's essentially Toy Story you, you take the toys and you replace them with pets you get the secret <laughs> life of pets the movie honestly it's pretty thin all around I was kind of surprised there's not even really a lesson here there's no clever insights into you know adult or animal behavior really and there's not much emotion but this movie is just out to entertain really it it's like makes you smile yeah, exactly this movie has a generous <laughs> warm friendly spirit it's like the filmmakers just said you know don't think just have fun and at that I think they pretty well succeeded it's action-packed from start to finish um, you know this movie uh, there's so much going on in each individual frame so much to look at so many characters I don't think kids or adults are gonna be bored for a second the kids are gonna like the silly zany energy of this movie mm -hmm. uh, and uh, adults are going to laugh too. I thought that Albert Brooks was great as a sort of sadistic vulture and Kevin Hart who I'm not a big fan of honestly <laughs> he gets on my nerves but he is perfect here as this gangster bunny. He's yeah. great. So um, the movie yeah it just has uh, just a playful happy yeah. spirit. It's pretty irresistible overall. At the end of the day I think it's kind of like cotton candy. It tastes great but it's pretty empty uh, so it's not Zootopia. It's it dissolves not, quickly. It's not yeah it's not Finding Dory. I had to you know reference my mm -hmm. notes afterwards because I actually forgot a lot of what happened in the movie but it's still going to give audiences what they want. A lot of people seem to really enjoy this movie so I think it's <laughs> worth saying see it. Yeah especially for the kids out. Yeah I'm taking screen. my niece to see it today yeah. so yeah. All right Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Now I've heard this one kind of compared to Wedding Crashers. Yeah this is following in the footsteps of raunchy R-rated comedies like Wedding Crashers like Step Brothers. They openly admit that's what they're trying to do here. This is surprisingly based on a true story about two hard partying brothers who um, place an online ad to try and find the perfect dates for their sister's Hawaiian wedding. Um, while they think they're gonna have a fun weekend getaway, they end up being outsmarted and outpartied uh, by an outrageous duo. They're played by Anna Kendrick and uh, Aubrey Plaza. The two main guys are Adam Devine and Zac Efron. Um, I thought this was gonna be a bromance like that, and it is <laughs> in many ways, but the, the pleasant surprise of this movie is um, the girls get to be just as crazy, as silly, as dangerous huh. as the guys. They're just as awful as the guys in this movie, and so it's it's good to see them you know, on an equal playing field, and uh, I thought that Anna Kendrick and Aubrey Plaza stole a lot of the laughs. The problem is that overall, there aren't that many laughs. It's kind of hit or miss. This movie is just a loose collection of comedic scenes. It's throwing stuff at a wall and seeing what sticks. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. You've got um, a, a gag involving a sports injury and another one involving a massage gone wrong. Those are funny, but then there's a lot of stuff we've seen in many other movies before, like the obligatory drug trip sequence. It's just tired and feels kind of lazy. Um, there are some good one-liners in this movie, and it does have a sort of goofy charm. Uh, I could take or leave this one, but I think it's you know funny enough to say rent it. All right. Our last one, another Disney, Legend of Tarzan, Legend of Tarzan a live yeah. action it's been adaptation. A long time, yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen another Tarzan movie, though we've had 48 dating all the way back to <laughs> 1918. This movie refreshingly doesn't give us an origin story. We find Tarzan as an adult living in London, huh. but he's forced to go back to uh, the jungle to help free some slaves. Um, you know, it is nice that it's not an origin story, but it's a little disappointing that we do get the story that we get because it feels a little tired, a little safe. Uh, you know, you don't really believe it either. I mean, this movie, the driving force is to free these slaves, but we don't get to know a single one of them, know their characters. They're not, mm -hmm. you know, given the dignity of becoming characters in this movie, so it feels a little insulting. Also, it's pretty incoherent, too. As plot developments occur, you're not really sure what's going on, but you're pretty sure you don't care. Um, the characters in this movie, um, I, I feel like uh, Margot Robbie did a really good job as Jane. Um, she does the best of what she's given, which is a damsel in distress character. Tarzan, I like this this guy a lot, Alexander Skarsgård. He's done great work and other stuff, but he's not a good Tarzan. He has too much of a baby face. He's too kind. Mm -hmm. You need to be menacing, ha be threatening in some sense to be really successful as a Tarzan. Um, the movie overall, I didn't hate it. I thought it was entertaining enough, but it's definitely not worth your hard-earned hard money. So I'm going to say skip this one. All right. Well, Meyer, thank you so much. Thank you.